Welcome back to the podcast, Sounds Skip the Show, where we talk about stuff. I'm one of your hosts, Zach Martin. And I'm the other host, Bill Murray. Um, okay, that was unexpected, and that what you were supposed to say, Fox Lopez. But uh, yes, it's been like a week since our last episode, because God did not want us to make this episode. Kept getting we had to have... Yeah, it was like, it was me twice, then it was you almost twice. Thankfully, we can make some time today to yeah. record this episode, because things kept popping up last second. But uh, yeah, today we're giving you our second to last Sabaton episode with this final real 1v1 of the Great War versus the Last Dance. So, Fox, which album did you prefer? Well, Zach, I preferred <laughs> the Great War. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all, honestly. <laughs> yeah, Great War was great. Honestly, I... I feel like I need to compensate for hating Great War so much in my original review. Oh. Now, it, it's, that's been up over a year, so I will let that pass <laughs> just purely because I need to compensate for like giving it an 8.2. What did I give it? Yeah, I gave it an 8.2. And now I would give it very, very close to a 10. Yeah, that's a very solid album. I um yeah. So, w- what are some uh, parts you liked on the Great War? Because you already talked about L no. stand. Zach, what I liked about the Great War, uh, okay, uh, all of it except uh, Flanders Fields. <laughs> yeah, because that's not really a song. That's that was uh, I believe. What was I know it was something that was sung during World War One, but I can't remember if the word I'm looking for is either him or folk song. I think or it's none him. of those two. Yeah, I, I I think that's I think that's what I it think is. Him but... is right. I don't know. Yeah, it's funny actually because today George messaged me. It was like the Great War Spotify link. He was like, "This song slaps." I was like, "I know." <laughs> I my exact response was, "I." Know. But the one knock I do have on the Great War is that it's just co- copy pasted from some of their last albums. I do see what you mean. I know what you mean. Like Devil Dogs and Sno- Smoking Snakes. You heard that they're literally heard, the same song, I heard, right? I heard it. I heard it. But I, I still like Devil Dogs more. Same. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, Great War and Last Stand we already know is the exact same song yeah it is I can't deny like, it the, the griff when I um, first when I clicked on the great because um, at the time when they were hyping up this album with their Sabaton History Channel they would always put in little like 30 second clips of the song so when I heard this run for the first time I thought I clicked on the wrong video and was listening to The Last Stand and I was like oh they just redid this song <laughs> Oh boy! But, and then I'm also curious to know what you thought of the end of the war to end all wars. I liked it. it I, I feel like they could have done more with it, though. I okay, okay, okay. When I heard the piano at the beginning, I was like, <gasps> and then it went away. I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I I feel like if I feel like. Do you want me to read my like... notes on the piano bit? Yeah, yeah. All right, Ballad of Bull flashbacks. No fuck. Where did the pe- pretty piano go? <laughs> you bitch! I want the pretty piano back. <laughs> What are these strings? Give me the piano. Oh, never mind. But, um, this is still pretty cool. <laughs> I, I feel like I, it would have been a lot better if it was like a nine-minute song that actually, like, it feels like it only dabbles in like different uh, ideas and styles rather than fully delving mm-hmm. into them. I, I, it should have been like the Rhapsody of Fire album. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Power of the Dragon Flame, which ended with a twenty-minute song. <laughs> eh? Twenty. And it's in a mi- dude. I listened to the whole album while grinding the Okuma Palace. I was like twenty. <laughs> I was like twenty. I'll stop grinding when this twenty-minute song is done. And it was so good. That's one way to grind Okuma Palace. <laughs> it made it so much less painful. Cause keep in mind, it was at when the um when we had already sent the calling card. So all that was playing was instrumental. Life will change. The album. The album was. Okay, the album is over an hour long, and I grinded the entire length of the album plus more, and it did not get boring. Because if I had to listen to Life Will Change uh, instrumental <laughs> for that full hour, I would have lost my sanity. Lucky for you, you're at the part where the Life Will Change instrumental doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, because when I got to Size Palace, I was like, oh, they actually slapped in the vocals. Yeah. Thanks. But yeah, we're going to talk more about uh, Persona during the intermission, but uh, yeah. I'm also really curious to know what you thought of Ghost in the Trenches. Ghost in the Trenches. Let's read up on Ghost in the Trenches. Uh, synth Abuse, this is a cool song. It, and when does it Synth Abuse? I heard Synth... Well, if I wrote Synth Abuse in all caps, it Synth Abuse somewhere. I've heard this song at least 237 times, and I've never once heard Synth. <laughs> 
Well, Zach, I listened to it once, and I heard synth abuse. <laughs> 237, dude, the last chorus on um, uh, Ghost in the Trenches still gives me chills to this thing. I like it. It's a cool song. Okay, are you sure you're not? Are you sure you're not looking at the synth abuse notes for the for Great War? Because that has synth abuse. Okay, Great War. I put synth abuse and choir abuse. <laughs> yes, dude, the choir abuse is so like <laughs> big. Oh yes. But I feel like Great War is like, Mom, can we have The Last Stand by Sabaton? No, no we, have we have The, the last, last Stand by Sabaton. Sabaton at home. <laughs> the Last Stand by Sabaton at home is just Great War. What was the other joke I made about? I, I, mean, I had two jokes that I made so much about Great War. The song, not the album. <laughs> but also, I really, I, I'm, I know you all say the same thing. I really love the opening um, organ for uh, Red Baron. Oh, yes. Because that's, that's a Bach piece. Yo, oh, it Sebastian. is. I Johann Back, Schubert. it's Fugue in G minor. So, yeah, I know a few people who played on uh, it. I know at least one person who's played Fugue in G minor before, but it wasn't on keyboard. It was on, like, tuba, I think. It was just spare sheet music lying around for tuba that was Fugue in G minor. It's like, oh, I know this. This song is from the funny Sabaton song. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying, what did they play from... Okay, they played... They played Red Baron. They played... Oh, I'm, going the way. They played... I'm going I'm going in order. That's That's all the way. Attack of the Dead Men, Red Baron, Great War, Fields of Redone. So that's five. A whopping Because it was five. obviously the Great Tour. They played the Great Tour. They played. They played songs from five of their albums. They didn't play anything from Metalizer, Coat of Arms, or they, they didn't play Speeder. Otero. <laughs> Zero out of dude. Don't see Sabaton live until they play Speeder again. <laughs> Just a boycott. Speeder. Until Speeder they wasn't play on there. <laughs> Speeder wasn't on their little underrated Sabaton songs. Yeah, I know the underrated Sabaton song. I, I voted that as much as possible because I'm like, I want to see what wins. I, I was hoping. I, I hope. Would. I hope Ballad of Bull wins. I hope no. it's not gonna. It's not gonna win, but I really hope it does. On, let me look it up on Instagram. Let me see which one I'm rooting for in in each one, in each bracket. I think it up overall too. I'm rooting for Ghost in the Trenches. But okay, hold on. So I, I I can just look it up. But we can. Where was it? Okay, here it is. So the first one is Soldier Three Armies or Blood of Bannockburn. I would, I would go Blood, Blood of Bannockburn. Yeah, Midway or Thunder God's Midway, without a doubt. Uh, I, yeah, Midway, I think. Uh, Ghost in the Trenches, the last battle. I love both, but uh, Ghost in the Trenches. Uh, yeah, I agree. Then there's Future of Warfare or Warks Drift. I would go Future of Warfare. I even, which one was Warks Drift on? Last stand. It is one of the one. more forget. It, it is one of the more forgettable songs from that album, admittedly. All right, so uh, future war. Nuclear, me. nuclear attack, reign of terror, reign of terror, without a second doubt. That's one of my favorite Sabaton songs. All right. Then there's white death or smoking snakes. I uh, think white I like, death. Yeah, I was gonna say white death. White death because they never ballad of the bull. Ballad of the ballad of the ballad of Okay, but hammer has fallen. Does slap? I feel Which like one's the hammer has fallen. It's like I don't think you heard that because it's like really deep and like a metalizer, and it's I believe actually technically not on metalizer. It's on fist for fight, so I'm not sure. But it's another the like hammer. piano. It's another piano ballad. It's actually a piano really, ballad. You say it's really, really, really good, actually. Okay, but, I, I mean, don't I don't. Okay. Then there's Wolfpack or Last Dying Breath. I would give it to Wolfpack easily. My face when I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, camouflage or Man of War? Camouflage, uh, camouflage. easily. Aces in Exile or Counter Strike? Aces. I, think. I, I, I would give it's it to been Counter a while. Strike. It's been a while for me. Rise, Rise of Evil or Union? Rise. Yeah, you really liked Rise of Evil. I yes. distinctly remember that. Yeah. In the name of God or Far from the Fame? Far from the Fame easily. In the name of yes. God is terrible. <laughs> Hearts of Iron or 1648? 1648. I'm fine with I, I'm fine with either, but I'd rather 1648. Lifetime of War Unbreakable. Lifetime? Okay, Unbreakable Unbreakable is what I'm rooting for to win the whole thing. Oh, okay. Interesting. Light in the Black or Purple Heart? Purple Heart purple. easily. And then where am I? Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, every time I, I I'm actually I'm not gonna say because it it's, it'll embarrass myself. But I, I was gonna say the way I pronounce LeBlanc in a <laughs> blah, blah. Blah, blah. <laughs> I sound like a garbage disposal. And then <laughs> Wehrmacht or Masters, I'd give it to Wehrmacht. 
Yeah, so do yeah, I. I, I. I'm rooting in general for Unbreakable to win the whole thing. I want Battlefield to win the whole thing, but it's not happening. So yeah, I'm you're, sad. If, if either of those do, if Battlefield wins or Unbreakable wins, we have to do something. We have to eat our shoe. We have to eat our shoe. We shoe. Dude, I still have to eat two of my socks. Oh, but why do you Because I forget, I, I forget exactly the situation, but we were playing League and I was like, oh, if we do such and such, I will eat my own soccer. I was like, I think it was like, Skylar, if you carry this game, he was like, oh, and five. I was like, if you carry us back from this game, I will eat my own sock. That and he like carried a... us so hard from the brink and I ate my own, and I, I need to eat my own sock. That sounds like a Skylar Dude, thing to do. I, Han, I need to look up how many, uh, I saw, I, it, was, it wasn't loaded before, but I need to look up uh, how many hours he has on League because we might need an intervention soon. Uh, let me. I'm very positive he still has less than me. Oh, I wouldn't be so positive as you. But yeah, let's go back to talking about Great War for a little bit, or last. Even though we already talked about it last time, was, was this one like? Would you take Great War over Heroes or no? Ooh, that's a good question. I'm not sure. I have to re-listen to Heroes. Okay, Hon, he has one thousand two hundred and twenty-three. That is less than me. I'm pretty sure I have thirteen hundred by this point. He's catching up though. Let's see. Yeah, but keep in mind, you've been playing since 2016. He's been playing since March 2020. Shut up. <laughs> that, that's not, like, against you. That's in yeah, your favor. But that is in my favor. Because I am... I have a reasonable... Like, I only play because I've been playing for so long. I can quit whenever I want. I'm not a dick. Dude, that's me playing Persona 5 Royal until 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> that sounds like I... Dude, I grinded in mementos for two hours, but once I get get back to that during the intermission. If we but, add uh, up all of Skylar's alt accounts, then maybe he has more than me. He, without it, without a doubt, yes, without a doubt. Yeah, my main has thirteen, twelve. For, for, for all of you who are wondering at home, Skylar is our friend who's addicted to League of Legends and is in need of serious help. So I'm begging you, if you, if you know us personally or don't, just follow us on Instagram. His is Pixeldale, mine is Zach Martin, spelled out in all underscores. But please, I'm begging you, if you know someone who can help with League of Le Legends interventions, what? I'm begging you, reach out to us. He needs help, and we need to help him, and we're bringing light to this now. But uh, yeah, talk more about a great war. So. I'm gonna. You wanna hear a funny story about Great War? Yeah. I like. Okay, I don't. I exercise, but like when I say exercise, I mean <laughs> I mean. I mean I speed walk like two miles. After, speeder. Speed speeder. Like I speed walk two miles. It's enough to get like my heart rate up and stuff. And before I listened, before you texted. You have a heart. Shut up. Before you texted <laughs> me like what we were doing. Like I was on like that. Two mile speed walk, and I was huffing a puffy. Then I get a text saying, "By the way, you need to listen to Great War of Last Stand." <laughs> and I was By like, "God damn it!" I was like, "Why are you so upset about this?" And okay, it's not that. I'm pretty sure I was wearing the Fortnite Battle Royale Legend shirt too. <laughs> <laughs> so I took a I shower. Need to get home. I sat down. I listened to Great War. I was extremely tired, so I was like. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. They're all fine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's then, why my memories of Vague War. Great War. Oh, okay. I said Vague War. <laughs> vague War. The Sabaton. The Vague War. The Vague War. <laughs> it, it may have happened. It may not have. Who knows? History can't prove it. <laughs> Dude, that, that's the next Sabaton album. The Vague War. <laughs> the Vague War. <laughs> the Vague Tour. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the tour they, that was they, supposed they, to happen, but COVID. No, the vague tour. They just barely vent. I'm almost vague. They barely tour. They just play like three shows. <laughs> it's no. Like North America, dude. That's what so many power metal bands do. Like Nightwish, Halloween. When they do a North America tour, they play New York, Los Angeles, and like Canada, and that's literally all they do Canada. for their North American tour. Like <laughs> tour. Yeah, like, literally, Sabaton and Hammerfall are the only power metal bands I've seen that actually, like, tour America. And then Glory Hammer did it Imagine with touring Hailstorm. America. I mean, to be fair, like, New York and California are the only states that matter. No, what about Montana? <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, Zach. What, 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 why, why do you care about Montana, besides relatives? Okay, if I'm being honest, I did, if you ask me to name all 50 states, I could probably name every state except Montana until a few days ago when I remember it existed. <laughs> Legitimately, I forgot Montana. Like, what happens in Montana other than Hannah? 
Hey, did you know Miley Cyrus is Hannah Montana? <laughs> Shut up. I still refuse to believe that. But, like, what what happens in Montana? What happens in Montana stays in Montana. But oh, the, yeah. The, yeah the, speaking of Congress, you get the right with Demi from Polo's out of draw, and I need someone to break it. Yeah, are we going to uh, cut to the intermission now? Oh, never mind. Right, I was winning. Anyways, yeah, let's cut to intermission. Now's our uh, time to talk about Persona 5 for 30 minutes. So, Zach, <laughs> what have you been up to in Persona 5 The Royal? I don't want to talk about it, but it, I've been... What if, I, I beat him. Was there a certain boss you struggled on for three hours? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, okay? <laughs> was there a it certain was boss so... you had to open up your debit card in order to be? <laughs> okay, I may have spent ten dollars, but that means in total, you want to know how much money I've spent on Persona Five Royal and Persona Five in total? Sixty dollars. Wait, what? But wait, spent $10... wait, both base and Royal? That's impossible. That is very possible. I spent Royal is sixty. Oh wait, you I bought got it on for sale. 40. Dude, GameStop was having like the god tier sale steelbook for forty bucks, and then there was uh, the I bought the original on like a Black Friday sale for uh, ten dollars. Bruh, me when I bought P base P five for sixty and Royal for like <laughs> over a hundred because I, I, I bought the fan P edition. I because I remember I texted you. I was like, "Fox, I did it." You're like, "You did what?" I sent you a picture, and you're like, "Yo, yo." That sounds like something I would do. But okay, okay I just now let's say talk. Right now, <laughs> well, what's his? I don't. I don't care what his first name is. Okumura is the worst designed boss fight I have ever fought in yes. video game history. Yes. And I, I have fought the Bed of Chaos in Dark yes. Souls, which is a platforming boss in Dark Souls. Yes. That was the only boss in the video game history that had me shaking in anger. <laughs> I was... Dude, if I had, like, 30 spare controllers, I legit would have thrown my controller across the room. <laughs> I wanted to smash my TV and my PS4. The only way I beat him was by grinding to get from level 43 to, like, or 41 to 46. Okay, yeah. That's right. Then I came back, did a full baton pass to Joker, and one-shot them with Myriad Truths, which was from a persona that I spent 10 to Dude. You do not understand I, oh, okay. how hard and annihilated. You them. know how like the green, like how the robots like sacrifice themselves. Yeah. Okay, so how I beat it was I accidentally left one left, but that was the one that sacrificed itself. So nice. I just got to the next phase free. I was like, "Thank Jesus Christ, I was not gonna beat Dude. that boss. I would have had to have grinded, I... and I was over leveled." <laughs> Dude, I was so nervous, like, because I had, I had the third baton pass tier to Haru and who cheated, in, like, Mapsio, Mapsire, whatever. Yes, bad. And then Haru's it trash. didn't do that much damage. I was like, oh my god, this isn't going to kill a max baton pass, Myriad Choose. And within, like, the second hit, they were all the dude, I just bump, spammed. Bump. I literally had nothing but Haru do one shot, one, or whatever, what? uh... She didn't have that yet. The other gonna be triple down. Triple shot. Triple down. Yeah, I had heard you that, and I just had Mak uh, not Makoto. Um, I had Yusuke uh, just give me coffee nonstop, <laughs> and Morgana just um, heal me nonstop. And I just I legit used Mirror and Truth so much that Haru got one move, and I killed Haru, but she self destructed, and okay. I killed the big robot, and he only got one chance to attack. I tried killing the Haru, but like one of my attacks missed, and I had and I died. Yes, that's happened to so many people. Like the self and Joker's the only one who dies. Yeah. But I, I was not having that happen. I was like, we can either destroy it or guard. It's like, do I guard? I was like, wait a minute, I have myriad truths. What am I talking about? Myriad truths. Uh, gotta love. But, dude, I really liked the new sci fight, but it was so much easier. Like, it is. It, there's no comparison between the two. New sci is easy. But I liked the idea. You know what I really like? It feels like an actual gamble. When it she feels selects, like, like a gamble. <laughs> <laughs> but like, well, hear me out. Hear me out for this bit. Like when it goes to like you know, let's say it lands on ice. You know, she'll be weak to fire. Yeah. So if you want to put in on, so you can uh, maximize your damage. But then you know she could attack on with the ice and then <laughs> use it. So it it's kind of that gamble system, which I really like. Except I just used concentrate and then just used whatever magic she was weak to and did like seven hundred damage, cool. and like annihilated her. I I literally had Joker be the only one who attacked. 
Mirage. The Joker. No, I didn't. I didn't use Mirage. Right, I didn't want to be that cheap. Okay, good. good. Or I might have used it once, but I don't think so. But no, I had Akechi use his Almighty move, and I had Joker just concentrate and use magic, and that's all I did, and I just annihilate her. Does but it, I really did. I, it, I blew through the Casino Palace in one day. Yeah, so did I. I blew and through then, all the palaces. I. Oh, I don't even know if I blew through Akuma in one day. I did blow through Akuma in one day. That took for me it was either one bit. day or two. Uh, Kamoshida took a while. Madarame was, I think, two days. Kanoshira was one sitting where I did not leave the palace once. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't leave for Madar. Actually, I didn't leave for Madarame because I, I might have story. actually. No, I think I left a few times, but no, Sai. Um, the only time I left in the casino was to do that one story bit where you have to leave. Yeah. That makes sense. But, dude, I blew through that palace so hard. I remember, dude, struggling so hard in that palace. Yeah. But, like, I like, it was a I like Shido's royal palace a lot more than his base one. Mostly because yeah, they, like... they fixed the mouse section. It's not yeah, as I'm annoying. Still, I'm still 99% sure I know who the new palace is going to belong to. It doesn't... Okay, okay. It doesn't matter if you know. You still can't predict what they're going to what they're gonna do with whoever you think it is. Okay, I'm not going to say, because if, if I'm wrong, it'll be really embarrassing. <laughs> like, when I told you I thought I knew the Persona 4 twist, and I was like, oh, that's embarrassing. But, no, because if I'm wrong, it's going to be... I Wait, what think... did you... I forgot the... What, what did you think the Persona 4 twist was? I'm not saying it, because it's really embarrassing, and I'm not saying that. Or just, but, uh... just text it to me afterwards so I can laugh at you. Yeah, but, um... Oh, God, you made me lose my train of thought. But... Oh, yeah, yeah right, I, I, I know... The palace definitely belongs to the two gay guys who hit on the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they can't talk. I, I, I can't talk to. Them. You're right. Like you can't talk to minors like that. It's just wrong. Oh uh, no! It belongs to Lala Chan. <laughs> it belongs to Lala Chan. Lala Chan, Loki, the best have, character. <laughs> dude, I've legitimately been ignoring Oya's um. Um, oh, uh, don't even. Uh, unless you're doing like, all of them, don't bother with Oya. Her power ups are bad, and her confidant is bad. And devil personas, like, except the the like the rank ten one you get after doing the whole things, they all suck. But like, um, even when she's the only one who texts me, I'm like, I'm not doing this. I'd rather just go who, to bed who early. Will it, who willingly hangs out with Oya? I would rather hang out with Lala Chen. <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, she's one of, like, what, three adults you can actually romance? Uh, you can romance. Dude, I'm excited. Okay, Kauk, spoiler wait, alert for, um, spoiler alert for Kauk and... You can romance four, I think. Who else? Oya, Fortune Teller, Takemi, Kawakami. She, fortune Teller is your age, though. Chihaya is your age. She is? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, let me look this up, because she Hey, Jamie, can you look up Chihaya's age? <laughs> I thought she, she was, like, in her 20s. Chihaya Furu. Oh, hold on, I'm looking this up, looking this up. Oh, wait, that's the wrong, that's a different anime. I that's don't know a what different anime. anime. <laughs> <laughs> Just look up Persona 5. Jamie, look up Persona 5 Force and Teller Age. I, I forget her name. Oh, she is 20. I told you. Huh. Dum dum. <laughs> Oh, I did not know that actually, but um. So yeah, yeah. four. But dude, oh, no, you, you, got you, can romance, you can romance. You can romance. Uh, she <laughs> Dude, you got mad at me because I purposely chose to not romance to Kenny. Yeah, why would you not? Come on. I'm a What's one girl man, and that girl is Makoto Nijima. Okay, she Bruh. is my waifu. She is my girlfriend. <laughs> I have five <laughs> girlfriends in Persona Four Gold. <laughs> what? I romanced all the party members and the new girl. <laughs> In Persona nice. 4 Golden. But did your romance best man, Yasuke? <laughs> There's a mod where you can romance Yosuke. Yeah, I knew about that. Actually, I think he's voiced by Yuri Lonefell, who did the voice of Spider-Man in Spider-Man PS4. That wouldn't surprise me, dude. I, I know he did it in at least the Amine, but I'm pretty sure he did it in the Amine. video game. Yeah, the dude, I've actually been watching like clips of I know. it. It actually looks really fun. Oh, they make, Nar <laughs> they make the protagonist so much better in the anime. Like, English no, I, I stuff, Narukami is genuinely hilarious. Like, I was watching the, um, you know, like, the, I, I forgot exactly what it was, it was like the triple date scene, and they're pretending, <laughs> pretending to be a female. Yeah. Oh, see, hot, right? Hot. Have you, have you seen that? Yeah, yeah, the cross-dressing <laughs> thing, that's great. 
It wasn't a cross-dressing, though. Oh, the cross-dressing? That wasn't the cross-dressing event? No. What, are you what is the cross-dressing event? Oh, so basically, y Yosuke signed up all the female party members for the beauty pageant. I and saw then, right before that. And then, <laughs> to get them back, the girls signed all the guys up for the <laughs> beauty pageant. Oh but the God. thing is, the guys had to cross-dress because it was for girls. Uh, th now I really want to play Golden, and also I'm just saying Shadow World is the bop of the millennium, and I don't care which- You're oh, wrong! <laughs> I, like, okay, I, I like, you know, the base Persona 5 theme, I like- Base I like Persona the 4 theme high. is better, in my opinion. Then- B Base then... Persona 4 theme is better than Golden, because it slaps hard. Actually, I will, I will give Shadow World this, the fucking accord- like, accordion. I don't I mean, mean the harmonica. Harmonica, yeah, that thing. That, that that slaps. I don't like the vocals though. It's I don't know why, it's just really catchy. But like, colors flying high I still do really like. I like colors flying high. My favorite I don't I I never skip the intro anytime I play Royal because I'm, should like, I'm watch, not skipping this. You should watch both Eternal Persona 2 Eternal Punishment OPs. Both of them are really good. No, I love the thing where it's like um, I was watching reviews all the persona like openings of all the games and there was like the conversation like persona one. I, did, I dreamt I was a butterfly. I dreamt I was a butterfly. Probably yeah, yeah, yeah. a really depressing story. Persona 4. Friendship is magic. Friendship is magic. Pers and then it's Persona 3. Memento Mori, Memento Mori, Memento Mori, Memento Mori, Memento Mori, Memento Mori. Persona 5. You, you like will die. Manas? You <laughs> Persona 3. You will die. And like, you will die. You will die. <laughs> That's what Memento Mori is. Dude, I, I grind it. I have almost all the stamps. There's 130, I think, and I have 95. Nice. I'll deal with the stamps later. But I learned, actually, that I believe, unless I just got really lucky, I believe, because I went through once when I had a lot of flowers and a lot of stamps, and in 12 or 13 floors, I found two stamps. Then I went and spent all my stamps, spent all my flowers. And then I went back to that same level and found five out of thirteen. And keep in mind, you're not um, three of them won't spawn. So that's really five out of ten. So that's at least half the floors you're finding them on. So it actually that's made true. it a lot easier. Yeah. But I got it. I got as deep as I, I actually think I'm now deeper in mementos than I ever got in the base Persona Five. That's good because you'll need that for when you know. Haha! <laughs> Get to the bottom of mementos. Haha. <laughs> But okay, I still don't understand what I'm. What you mean when I ask, "Hey, is the new palace before or after?" You know the whole momentous thing, and you say both. That doesn't make sense. I mean, you visit you visit it sometime between Okuma and Sai when Kazumi accidentally gets sucked in. Uh, yeah, for me it was right before Okuma. Okay, I I forget when it was. That's why I said both. And then yeah, but you visit that palace again that, after I'm... like after like the main events of Persona Five. But can't you, like, not go into palaces anymore after that? It's explained. Oh, okay. Convenient for the plot. So it's no, after it's all not, that. It's not, it's not convenient. It actually works. Okay, so, but I got, I, I yesterday I got, uh, Maruki rank 10. I have a catchy rank 8. Dude, I'm so I glad I splurged on that. <laughs> I, I know, dude, I, I, I put off all, like, at night. I got a text from literally all nighttime confidants, and then a catchy like, want to hang out at the jazz club blew off all the nighttime confidants to hang out with the catchy i was like I thought <laughs> yo you hated. like jazz <laughs> dude a catchy rank eight is the best one uh, rank six is a close second because we get to share a bathtub with poor with catchy yeah. <laughs> oh, i'm so close to the platinum i'm I going to be completely honest with you honest. I hate I you. Hate you. <laughs> Dude, I was, I was laughing. I was like, I love you too, Goro and Kechi. Uh, Yo, when that happened, <laughs> I got goosebumps. I was like, because I know Dude, I, I like, have friends who ship a Kechi or Joker who haven't played Ruin. I was like, oh, they're gonna be pissed. <laughs> I was, I was, um, I was, I was fighting a Kechi, and then he did Megaton Raid and did like almost all my health. I was like, who would win? One Megaton Raid or one Myriad Truths boy? <laughs> Myriad Truths boy. Dude, that was My so only... fun, fight, especially because it played the boss theme. Yeah, it played Blooming Villain, which is a nice foreshadowing to when Ketchy betrays you. Yeah, I was like, now it's really, really obvious. Like, looking back, ruin... if I had played... It did ruin the surprise of the traitor, but it's it's worth it. It's worth it. Because I, I originally thought the traitor was Makoto. I don't- I think I thought the same thing on my first playthrough of P5. Because it was like, sis, I won't let anything happen to you, but like... I, I realize now, like, now all the things, like, if you were really smart and was like, wait a minute, pancakes? Pan Morgana said pancakes. 
A catchy the catchy word of the week. <laughs> when does the third semester start, by the way? Uh, January first. Oh, uh, okay. And because I think the only trophy I have that's gonna that I'm not guaranteed that's gonna be hard is to get all the stamps, which I only need thirty five more. So, because the Reaper, I learn, I remember that if you just make a separate save file, beat them on safe mode, because anytime you die in that fight, you'll just instantly resurrect with full HP and full SP. Oh yeah, safe. Do I just so save? I'm just. Just make a separate save file for that. Then the only because I have the rarest trophy you, in the game, which is or you could dude, the maid cafe is the rarest trophy in the game. I just made a separate. I saved, did the whole thing, didn't save between them, then reloaded that save. I was like, I'm ashamed of the actions I took, <laughs> but it's done. It is done. It always will it. be. I I'm so surprised that that's the rarest trophy. Not I won the lottery I, my first try too, which was surprising. Oh really? Hmm. And also, I, I need to know, how do you max out kindness? Because that is impossible to, like, I have it ranked three. All right. I have three. So basically, have... you feed your plant. What plant? The plant in your room. What room? The, the attic. The, the LeBlanc attic. What LeBlanc attic? Stupid! <laughs> <laughs> in the LeBlanc attic, you have a plant. You have to, like, clear out some it... stuff to access it, though. Okay, good to know, because I have proficiency, charm, and knowledge maxed out, guts close to being maxed out, and kindness at three. So I'm like, I I'm just, really, you know, smart, I, I, intelligent. I'm kind of a dick. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm like, I'm just, I'm just an asshole. Because <laughs> like, I was trying to search through tablets, so I'm like, fine, at least it'll give me the scan of the mementos. You I'm need rank four there. kindness to start. I know, I'm like, I, I wanted to do it just for Sojiro. 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 Where's my curry soji Dude, it was so funny when my mom started making fun of Futaba. I was like, yes. <laughs> what did your mom say about Futaba? Food. She's like, she whines so much. And then, like, <laughs> she heard a Futaba line, and then my mom did like a mocking voice, and was like, yes, mom, go. <laughs> oh, that's great, man. I was like, yes, bully Rutabaga. Bull All my homies bully Rutabaga. Bully her. Ow. Dude, I learned that in the walkable fight. If you choose to bully Futaba, she won't help you out, like with the shields. Dude, I think they made the walkable fight. I can't remember if I swear in the in the base five, like you could just go ballista after ballista after ballista, just to make it easier. I swear you could do that. I don't remember. I have wiped memories of the base Futaba walkable fight. If I'm right about that, then I think the royal change is actually worse, but not like by a long shot, because I realized at the end, oh, I should have been using this ability the whole time, but like, well, it was just a really annoying loop, but I was like, I'm, I have a lot of items in healing, so I can stay stank, but it was really annoying, I wasn't a fan of that fight, but not nearly as bad as Okumura. Okumura is a special snowflake. It, le it is legitimately, I'm not even Employees, to me! The worst design boss. Dude, I had to take uh, my yearbook photos today for senior pictures, and it was the cap and gown, and I hated taking that one so much because I never cap. You never cap? Oh my god. <laughs> I I got to make that joke. They're like, hold the cap, I'm like, but I never cap. My, my senior pics are next week. Yeah, I know, you're bringing your gaming controllers. I'm bringing my game- I'm bringing the whole Persona <laughs> <laughs> No, just dress as Joker. <laughs> What's up? Dude, I, I brought my I brought my base. You can just come dressed as Joker. <laughs> I'm not gonna wear with any clothes. <laughs> no, just go Joker, come up with a knife, and gonna just be like, I'm here to change your heart. I'm here to change. Uh, speaking of Joker, there's a group of people on Twitter who think the Phantom Thieves are real. It's actually so yeah, cringe. I heard about that actually. Well, I I heard vaguely about. Didn't they like threaten you know, Trump's heart? <laughs> <laughs> I saw something about that. So I, I need to look more into that. I think the Trump thing was that someone made a meme about stealing Trump's heart. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I didn't know. That was no, nah, that was stuff. something different. But speaking of which, I also have been playing Joker and Smash. Oh, you play overpowered top tier character, you and Normie. He, he he is he is not that high skill level, but like he's not. But he's fun. <laughs> he's the dude. He's the most fun show, sword character for me. Choke is so hard because if you use backslash and you're near an edge, you're yeah, you just fall. <laughs> how many times you just go yeeting up and then <laughs> I go, I don't even have enough time to be like, oh, I should probably up slash and switch to jump. Nope, you're nope, nope, dead. nope, nope, dead. Dude, you know what <laughs> I hate? Fun. King K rule. 
Oh, fuck that character. Because that's all my brother goes, and he wins every time. Uh, and then the play second Joker. he fights AI... Play, play second... Joker into any projectile spamming and just hold down B. That just gets you yeah, Arsene. Sh Shulk's, Shulk's counter is way better. J Joker has, like, the best counter in the game. I think Schultz is better. But you know, Isabel from Animal Crossing is apparently like one of the hard counters to cave rule. Oh yeah, just, you just spam fishing rod. <laughs> no, no, not that. She can like absorb projectiles. Oh yeah, she back. can do that. I forgot about that. It's been a while since I played I, Smash. I just do that and say bold of you to assume I fear death. Oh, the only reason why I say Joker's counter is better than Shulk's is because Joker, Joker can counter multi-hits. With Arsene, yes, it's better. Arsene can't do multi-hits. Jo base Joker can do multi-hits. Yeah, I don't care. You're wrong. I'm right. But, uh, what, what Have you unlocked all the characters in Smash yet? What? Have you unlocked? Not even remotely. Baby Zack loses every time he has to fight AI. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I only lost... I think I've only lost to Captain Second. You can retry them like the Treasure, sec treasure Sexton or something. Oh, I might try that because we've lost a lot. Yeah, you can retry he always them. Loses, dude, he always loses to the Fire Emblem characters. He has them at like 130% and he's at 20% and then they come out of nowhere and kill him. I love Fire Emblem. I don't I don't get why people just hate so many Fire Emblem characters in Smash. <laughs> like, what's dude, because they're all so generic. To be fair... Yes. What, what is there to be fair? You could, there, there's so many others. Like They could have had like Dunban from Xenoblade or something. Or Sora but, from Kingdom Hearts. Or Min Min from ARMS. <laughs> Min Min from ARMS is in the game. Anyways, uh, what I meant by, to be fair, like, I don't know why they picked all sword characters when Fire Emblem has like 15,000 classes, like mages, and diff 15 types of knights, and armored uh, knights. Yeah, probably because it's dragon so people. They, they, dra <laughs> they have dragon people. Where's my dragon people in Smash? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's because the game sucks. But yeah, let's get <laughs> end this in a mission. I hate you. <laughs> cut, cut back to the regular discussion. We're getting back to the regular discussion. <laughs> Welcome back to Podcast Science Give the Show, where we talk about stuff. We've been your hosts, but, uh... We've yeah, been your we, hosts. We, we, we both... Uh, Fox likes the great more and more, and I'm gonna concede because I, I need to compensate for hating on it so much that it's an amazing album. Fuck off. Okay, stop doing that. I'm going to your house this weekend. I will <laughs> lay back the vengeance of God. I will summon my persona. <laughs> you will summon your persona? Could I piss you off? It's like, it's like can, uh, well, Joker well, can, with... Can you what? Can you what? What? Because I. I heard you say. I heard you say fist me off. <laughs> <laughs> I do not say that. I said pissed me off. Okay, there will be no fisting. <laughs> no fisting. Hey, I mean, just dudes hands, being dudes ain't nothing wrong with that. Hands to yourself, Zach. Oh yeah, uh, you might want to bring your Switch controllers in case we play Smash. Yeah, I'm, I'm positive. We're, we're, we're playing play Smash. Smash. We're playing Smash. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, yeah, let's get back into the, uh, sabotage question, so... Yeah, Sparta sucks. Last Dying Breath sucks. Blood of Bannockburn <laughs> hey, sucks. Hey, hey, Diving hey, on a hey, Soldier hey, hey. sucks. Last Battalion sucks. Rourke's Drift, what's that? The Last Stand. Hill 3234. <laughs> Just nothing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Just all Sabaton albums suck. None of them move on. Sabaton, the Sabaton's a terrible band. You should be ashamed like, for supporting they, them. They have one good song and it's Speeder. Speeder. <laughs> I wonder if there's anyone out there who thinks that the only good Sabaton song is Speeder. I mean, they have like, what, two million monthly listeners on Spotify alone. How many? to be at least how many, one person. How many, how many listens does Speeder have? Uh, how many streams? Let me check. I'll, hey, Jamie, look it up. It has... Not even a million. SMH, my head. Should Don't worry, Zach. We can, we can get it. Like, Let's get it to a million by the end of the week. More like Shit Megami Tensei. Are you talking trash about my <laughs> Shin Megami Tensei? Because <laughs> it's sub, but um, um, anything else you want to say about a great war? I am hyped for Shin Megami Tensei 5 and Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD coming to Nintendo Switch and PS4. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but that's not about, you know, the Great War, the last stand. Oh. Anything else you want to say about Great War, last stand? The Great War is terrible. I, I feel like it needs to say this now. I, I love Great War, except I just really wish that it had been more original and that the end of the war to end all wars had a less redundant title and also did more. <laughs> the end of the end of the end of the end of the end. So it's the end. I, I originally was like that the war to end all wars is like, okay, that's what it was called, but the end of the war the to end, end of the end war all, to end all wars. It's so redundant, and I'm like. The end of the war to the end of the war. <laughs> the end great of the war. And I cannot take more. I cannot take more. But uh, yeah, so that leaves in the final four that will be competing in our next Avatar episode. Uh, Primo Victoria, Art of War, Carlos Rex, and The Great War, all four will be competing Speeder for the wins. spot <laughs> for the best Sabaton uh, album. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. I, I have an idea on... Uh, we'll, we're each gonna think uh, of them. We, we know which, we already know it's gonna work. We already know. Yeah, it's it's, it's very obvious if you've been paying attention to our praises. But but I think uh, that it'll be interesting to see where we place the other three in comparison, and then I guess we'll just all tied for second. Too. Yeah, I, I guess we'll just be a rank except metal. Uh, I guess we'll just be the like, best album. I, I guess after that, it'll, it'll pretty much just be a ranking too. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's going to do it for uh, this episode. Uh, the next episode, we're going to bring our boy Jeremy back on. What are we going to do with Jeremy this time? Talk exactly like we did last time. What are we going to talk about? How? If, you know what we should we talk about? We didn't have a question. <laughs> it, oh, we keep forgetting. If, if, uh, George, we'll have a question if, now. If, we'll have a question right now. Uh, what question? Could, could we beat George Washington in a fight? I could, you couldn't. To answer that, let's review Sabaton. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, no, no. I, I could. You could beat George Washington in a fight. Dude, he specializes in taking down British people. You stand no chance. I stand no chance, you are correct. I'll just hit you with that mean Boston Tea Party type beat. <laughs> oh, he's, gonna to he's gonna toss you in the Boston Harbor. He's gonna toss you the. <laughs> Bruh. He's gonna. George he's gonna Washington cross is. The Delaware. George Washington is going to remove my ability to swim and throw me in the Boston Harbor. <laughs> He's going to turn you into tea and then just toss you in the water. Oh, that's so terrifying, just being turned into tea. Like you're, Why, you're, is, that like you're, your, is that like your new biggest fear? No, that's my Duncan Rampa execution. My body just <laughs> dissolves into tea. <laughs> into a tea bag and then we drink it, just like a Mondo. <laughs> we drink <laughs> the Mondo butter. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at Phantom Thieves' Twitter right now. Oh god, hang on. I'll, let me see if I can find some. Is it Phantom Thieves of Heart, We Steal Hearts? Ha oh, oh, oh. God, I'll this is gonna be so cool. Phantom Thieves. Yeah, it's at We Steal Hearts. It doesn't look like there's been anything new in a while. Well, yeah. The most recent one is Just Shot God in the Head. Hope y'all having a good Christmas to you. No. Uh. Oh, Twitter! Oh, I found it. Twitter tweeted, age really is just a number. The fan of these heart retweeted saying we found our next target. <laughs> this one just seems like a joke account. Like. Oh, wait. Is that not it? Hang on. There was one that was it, actually it, it, cringe. Because cause this, like, the bio makes it look like it's cringe, but then it's just like a shotgun in the head. <laughs> Hope you have a good Christmas Eve. Just, this, just watch Joker had nothing to do with me. It, it looks like it's just like. It doesn't look they deleted. Like they deleted one of most of their stuff. There's one where they like, like when all the Smash Brothers people came out about being pedophiles, like they tweeted like, "Oh, we've changed all their hearts." Oh I, God, no. And I think they like that. Yeah, that was the account, but they took it all down. Yeah, this one is just. Uh, it seems to be just a parody one too, because there's a <laughs> hell. <laughs> Here's what this account said: help. This isn't a joke. I am being held in Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> <laughs> for, for 23 hours ago, help. Uh -oh. This isn't a joke. I am being Futaba. Futaba. Rutabaga. <laughs> SMT, SMT fans will be called their game garbage. It's true and you know it. <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, anyways, let's end the episode.